Hello and welcome. I'm excited to show you an AI tool called Class Companion that is totally free for teachers to use. So Class Companion is a tutoring and practice tool for teachers to provide to students. So it is totally free. You can use your Google account to sign up. I did have to go through and add in our district when I made it. So you might have to type in and create the first person for your school. If no one else has checked it out yet, but it is amazing. You'll go through and you'll make a class. My tip is to break it up by different class periods. If you're a secondary teacher, so you can kind of keep, broke, keep it broken up like you would some of your students in Power Teacher Pro, but you'll go in and you'll invite students to join your class. And what Class Companion allows you to do is to set up a practice space for your students to practice answering short response questions, essay questions, extend response, and really help hone and fine tune the writing. You can generate and upload your own writing assignments and rubrics, so it checks it with that, or you can even use the AI tools baked into Class Companion to have it generate a sample writing prompt or to pull from the many that have already been put on here by other teachers. If you are an AP teacher, there's a treasure trove of AP resources in here that you can pull from that are really made from the creators of the AP test, so you don't have to sit there and type them all out yourself, but if you wanted to, you could. And what it will do is have, you'll basically give students a practice writing assignment when you set up your class. And what students do, they can go in and they get feedback on how that they have done that assignment. So I'm gonna model that here for you. It also shows students where they can self-reflect and kind of monitor and think about their thinking and their writing. And you get really nice data and analytics as a teacher to see what are some of the common things that students are struggling with. So you can really integrate that into your teaching moving forward and have those conferences and individual work sessions with students and tailor your teaching. It uses AI to generate the writing prompts and rubrics if you would like, but this tool also uses artificial intelligence to give some formative feedback in data to the students based on their performance. So that's kind of where the AI feature is baked in. So what I did here is I added students via a link and that's what I would recommend that you do versus inviting via email. So I share that link with the student, which is my own personal <laughs> Google account. And then what I'm gonna do is set up an assignment. So if I come here, I can add assignments. So I can generate something or pull from their library, create from scratch or import if I have something from my own documents. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate from their library and I'm gonna go to this one. So we're gonna do this, this is a world history class and I can even review this if I want and I'm gonna add it to my class, okay? So we're adding that in there and I'm gonna do one attempt for now so you can set the number of attempts you want students to have. And I'll do continue and we're just gonna publish this, okay? So if I'm the teacher, this is my view right here. And then right here is where it's gonna show some of those submissions. I can clone this assignment and put in my other class periods if I break this up by other classes. I can edit this if I decide this is not necessarily what I was looking for and fine tune it. So now what I'm gonna do is actually pull up, this is my fake student in my class, which is me. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start this assignment. So this is what it looks like for our students. And on the teacher side of things, it shows how much time students spend on these responses. So if you have a student who goes in and just flies through, just puts in some stuff, it's gonna tell you that they didn't really spend a whole lot of time on this assignment. And I did not include all the things that it was telling me to. So I did not include three pieces of evidence from the documents. So it is thinking and it's going to be giving me some feedback, all right? And then I could start answering more of those questions. And it told me, okay, I need to write a full paragraph. Need to pull in some of those answers and those pieces. So it's telling me right now that it's been kind of flagged. I need to do a little bit more work on that response. All right, so I typed up my responses there. So this rubric that this teacher had set up on the sample one is pretty generic. It's looking for a couple other pieces. So it told me I got a perfect score, just meeting some of those mere minimum parts, but there are certainly sections where perhaps I needed a little bit more detail. So what I can see here is if I didn't do a great job on, this, on that assignment, I could keep trying it again. It would tell me some of the data there. Um, I can go to my dashboard, shows even more of these pieces. I can ask for help from my teacher if I wanted, and it just gives some nice, data and information for the teacher. So I can reset it if I would like. So it's a really nice space to give students practice where they can kind of do that in a safe way without it being a high stakes assessment. As a teacher, this gives me some baseline information so that 
I'm not saying they're grading all those responses, but then I have targeted information so I can sit beside the student and conference with them and give them that targeted support and feedback. Feedback is so critical in helping our learners understand where they stand to motivate them and to give them the corrective information that they need to move forward. And oftentimes providing feedback can be very time consuming. It's not easy to do when you have hundreds of students that you're supporting. This can help give some time back to you so that in turn, you can have some of those individual conferencing sessions that are so valuable for your students. So this is Class Companion. It's a really helpful tool and I hope that you enjoyed it and check it out and share your success stories with me. I would love to hear them.